Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. It's time to head to the tent. According to my phone, it is 23 degrees right now up at the tent. It's going for a high of 33 today and then back down into the 20s tonight. Driving through Duluth right now. I stayed at the house in Cloquet last night, so I only have a, a few hours to get to the tent. sun comes out this weekend. I have not saw the sun in at least 10 days. It's been rainy, it's just been horrible, cold. Our average high this time of year should be between 60 and 63, and it's been um, in the 40s. It's just been a rotten fall. So if we get to see the sun, that would be kind of nice. could go up at the tent they had five inches of snow I don't know if there'll be any snow on the ground right now or not uh, yesterday I woke up in I was in Cloquet and I had to drive back for work and it was snowing pretty good then and uh, there was about an inch of snow on the ground but you can see here there's nothing on the side of the road but uh, we still have a ways to go slow down my driving. It's 25 degrees and there's a little bit of a mist hitting my windshield and uh, that's a sure sign that the roads will get icy. That water is really high. on the road but can't make it up the driveway. Twenty-five degrees. The first thing I'm going to do is get inside and get that wood stove going. I brought the wood splitter up with me and get some wood split. My dad's coming up this weekend. Next weekend, Zach's coming up, and I think Sarah might come up. She's not sure yet.
get some camera batteries charging up here. And I think I'm going to run out and uh, grab a couple of the SD cards. Looks like we got a rabbit or something right here. Red Fox. There's my dad up here on a four wheeler that was on the 15th of September. I think that's that rabbit again. Well, here I am today. So this one here, that's me when I put the camera in. That's it, four pictures. That's it. I think I'm going to run down and grab the other one too, just because uh, it's still not too warm in here yet. Now this one here, I think that's a wolf. Could be a deer. This is for sure a wolf. This one here, right here, we have a deer. There it's coming back again. It must just be kind of milling around. It's a doe. There's some little critter right there. I don't know if it's a squirrel or what. Whatever it is, must have climbed up the tree. Well, nothing all that exciting on the cameras, but uh, at least there was no people. It's a big ice cube, is all it is. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see the ponds are so over. Yeah, they were all the puddles coming in until that truck went by where yeah. it froze. And I see on. Well, it's just about 11.35. I think I'm going to drive. I'm going to at least go look for grouse. Maybe I'll drive and run out and check out the far deer stand down there. We were out there, I don't know if it was last time I was up here or the time before, but check it and just make sure everything is okay. Well, my dad was just over to the tent for about a half hour. And he said he used to have a stand back in here they called the boulder stand and that's where he shot his biggest deer. And I thought the boulder stand was in a whole different area. So I'm just trying to see where it was that he went in here. He said they would walk in by a big rock. I guess he used to go in there and then he used to have a hunting partner that was up here named Ernie that shot two deer back there also. There's rocks everywhere here though. I'll have to have him show me. How are you supposed to choose what rock? I see they're using this trail again just like they did last year. They come right through here and I can't cover that from my stand which is I'm only halfway there right now. I remember thinking last year because they travel through here 
that it would be a good idea to take one of my ground blinds and set it up right on top of that hill. That's pretty close to the road, but if that's where the deer are going, you got to go where the deer are. There's my stand. I'm not even going to go up there today, uh, next weekend when Zach's up and stuff. We'll worry about that. I'm going to walk back here though and see if there's any trails or anything that I see. There's a fresh track there, so they're still using this. My stand is right there. Looks like that deer came right through here, which is like right behind my stand or just to the right side of it. Just driving back to the tent right now. There's a timber wolf collared. Doesn't look like it gives a crap about anything. There's another one. Can you see it back there on the trail? Well, that was pretty cool seeing that wolf. My battery actually had went dead on the DSLR here. I don't, I guess they must not like the cold weather too much because I should have had plenty of battery left. So I got that footage on my phone, but uh, glad they're not out by my deer hunting area. So this time up I never even stopped at the store. I got a quart of milk at the gas station, but that's it. I brought up a couple of the pork steaks from when I butchered. I'll let them thaw out right now. Uh, the other day when I was in Cloquet, we just went down and got some chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy. So I'll have this for lunch. And then I brought up some of these bear brats from my dad's bear. I'm gonna have one of these. They're really good. I, I, we tried them a few days ago. And then, Strawberry rhubarb pie, I'll have a piece of that. I think I'll run over to the folks' cabin, grab the four-wheeler and the trailer, start hauling some wood in here for winter.
I just talked to Melissa on her ride home from work and uh, it was 40 degrees there and the sun is out. I have not saw the sun like I said for days and uh, it's 26.6 here right now and it got to 26.8 was the warmest I seen it and it's 40 degrees there. <laughs> it's like a summer day. more than I will burn in the whole entire year. I'm going to go get another load. I do want to fill it up more. I'm trying to get all of the wood out there down to the dirt because what happens is you split and you put it on top and on top and on top. You keep grabbing it from like the back of the pile instead of the front. You switch off but always that layer on the bottom stays there and pretty soon it rots away. So if I can get all that cleaned up then we start splitting some new stuff. Uh, we'll be in good shape. We won't lose anything at all. Now that I got that all filled up with hardwood, I want to move this. It always looks real nice here, but it's always wet because snow gets on it and rain gets on it. If I can shove it up there, I can then dry this. This is softwood, this is pine, and uh, burn this stuff first before I get down to all that hardwood that I just put in there. Well, as far as wood goes, I'm officially all set up for deer hunting and the winter trip. I'm going to have to let the camera sit in here for a while. <laughs> That's what happens every time I walk into my glasses. It gets all fogged up. I think I'm going to drive the loop, see if I see any gross. Heard a few shots out there today, but it's, uh, it's already after five, so... One more little loop drive and we'll be good. The camera is still kind of fogged up. It's fogged up on the inside. The outer light lens is good. either the last tent video or the one before that I come in here and film this this is way up the lake itself though at the tent is about a foot higher than what it was last time they've got a lot of rain
Let's run out to my clearing stand. We were out here last time also, but tomorrow I'm going to be doing a lot of traipsing around with my dad looking at his stand and uh, I don't know if he wants to move it or what, but I don't know what tomorrow is really going to bring, so let's check it out today. I didn't bring my gun with me here, so I'll probably see a grouse. Not really enough snow out here anymore to see if there was any tracks, but we'll check out the stand anyway. Well, I just had to ask myself, Joe, you've got 22 more days till deer hunting. What are you doing sitting in a stand getting cold right now? These are some pretty big pork steaks I had written on there, big, you know, pork steaks big. But these, uh, the ones that you grow yourself, they really shrink down when you cook them. So I'm definitely going to have stuff for tomorrow lunch or bring it home or whatever. I think I'll try something new this time and have a baked potato with my pork steaks. like they'll have peas for a vegetable since it's the only small can I've got up here of vegetables all the other ones are regular size
Well, it's time to eat. And I still have steak and three potatoes left over for tomorrow. Just, uh, I have like three or four videos that I have to edit, so I thought tonight would be a good time to do some of them. I've got some for Northern Seclusion, and I've got this one going for uh, Joe and Zach, and then next weekend we'll be up at the tent again for Joe and Zach, so I'm just going to take a little time tonight and get one of them edited and out of the way. Well, now that the potatoes are on, I'm going to do ribs is the main thing. One of these... It's down to 20.1. I'm just wondering if it's going to go down into the teens tonight. I mean, it's only the 12th of October. This is cold. All right, everyone. Well, it's 22 minutes after 10. I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. It's amazing. It's October 13th and this whole bay is pretty much frozen over. It's just before 7 o'clock now. It's warmed up to 30 degrees and it actually feels warm out here compared to last night. comments on the Joe and Zach Survival Facebook and they blocked me for misusing the feature for going too fast so that must mean it's time to get my butt outside and do something. My dad just texted me and he's driving out to that boulder stand that I talked about yesterday so good I want to see where that is. I'm going to meet him over there and we'll walk out. Oh, it's not too far away at all. Oh, I see. But it was a road, but then, then all these here pine trees you cut in there and grew up, you know. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't Well, these are all big right here. Yeah, they are. But there, there, there was a trail that went. Because there was a swamp on the right after you got in the right head on the, on the left. And um, to this point went here some, and that's where I put that stand so I could watch this whole clearing. Huh. And um, because... Yeah, the deer would come up off that ski trail, but... 
Well, we had to uh, put on two miles. We walked way the heck back there. And uh, <laughs> uh, we couldn't find where that boulder stand was, but I would think we have an idea of where it might have been. That's the trail. Remember last year I had that uh, trail camera way back there and then all the trees fell over the road? Somebody's been in here and cut it out. Although you go up not too far, third of the way back maybe, and the guy had a deer stand out on the left and a clearing, so that's probably how far back they have it cleared. It's a quarter after 11. Some of that ice has melted, but there's still quite a bit on there. It's about 10 after 12, I'm gonna have me some lunch. During lunch I could hear people shooting out over that direction, shooting on the other side of the tent. I think there's people out that are practice shooting today. It's just about 1.40 in the afternoon right now. I want to go and see Sarah's stand. And I want to go back out to my far stand where I talked about maybe putting that uh, ground blind up on top of that little ridge. I want to go take a better look at that. Uh, my dad, he headed back home. So later on I have to bring the four-wheeler over to, their, to my folks' place. And uh, when he left, he texted me and said he wasn't sure if he locked the front door. So I have to check and see that it's all locked up. I think we'll run down to the far stand first and then come back and walk out to Sarah's. See, I'm thinking about maybe over here, if I knock down a little bit of this brush in front here, as long as there's snow on the ground, I can cover all the way down that valley and up the other side. And that's where they cross, right in the bottom. The only thing is, like right now, the wind is at my back. That would totally screw this all up. I wonder what it looks like on the other side. That's kind of getting back by my other stand, but uh, you'd be able to cover all this still. You're definitely higher on the other side, and you can cover anything that goes on the back side of that little hill where over here you're not covering anything. And if the wind is going the wrong way, I'll just walk down there another 100 yards and sit in that upper stand. And all I'm really doing right now is looking anyway, because within by next weekend when we come up, or you know, then it's just two weeks until deer hunting, they're gonna start to make scrapes and everything, and that'll change, you know, the way you think about where you're gonna sit. Well, I spent about an hour and a half out here, scouting around and everything, and, uh, if I am going to put in a ground blind, I'll put it in right up here on top of this hill. This little valley goes off to the right and then curves around to the left. And then there's a big swamp over there behind my far stand. And then it's all pine trees over on that other side and good ones for bedding under. So a lot of times they'll sleep over there. It's quite a ways over and then they'll come right through here. 
and anything that walks on this trail going out to my far stand, I'll be able to cover that too. Okay, one more thing to do. I am beat. It's been a long couple of days. Let's go up to Sarah's stand to make sure it's okay, just in case she can't make it up next weekend. And then let's head back to the tent. It's starting to lightly mist out right now. Looks like she needs a blanket or something on the front of that thing. It's completely gone. Back to the tent. Well, I've just been sitting here for the last 45 minutes watching some more of uh, Planet of the Apes, the second one now. But uh, it's uh, it's almost 6 o'clock. i got to bring the four-wheeler over to my dad's, over to the folks' cabin there, and uh, check and make sure that everything's locked up. I'm heading home in the morning, so I have clean up and stuff to do. I don't have to cook tonight. I've got leftovers, so that's good. So I better get moving here because it's starting to get dark. Well, the doors were locked up, but he left the ceiling fans on, so I came in here and shut him off. I called him and he said he does that all the time. Well, I think I'll head back to the tent, uh, put the trail cameras out, cover up the barbecue, sweep off the front porch, then pretty much most of the outside stuff is done. I sure didn't get any of these dead trees cut down that I wanted to this weekend. Who knows, maybe we will next weekend or maybe it'll have to wait until spring. Okay guys, I'll be right back after I get these set up and then I'll do the last, the other one over there too. I'm going to get this last one set out there and then I forgot that I want to take the antenna off the, the roof out there and bring it to the new house because it doesn't get any reception here. 
So anyway, I'll get that done, and then uh, then I'll be back in. I do want to take a shower tonight. I don't know if you can see that, but there's ice chunks in the water. I really don't have that much to clean. I, mean, I didn't do use anything. I have two dirty dishes, a fillet knife and the tongs for the barbecue. That's it. Almost ready. That's good. It's 88.9 degrees in here. It's getting warm. While I'm charging up the shower battery, it was down to 57%. I think I'm just going to make some leftovers here and eat a small supper. And I'll be back in a little bit and uh, we can get this place cleaned up. Well, Planet of the Apes just got done. It's 25 minutes after nine. My journal is all done for right now. I think I'll put it in this movie for a little bit. It won't be long, it'll be time for bed. Okay, everyone, well, I'm off to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning.
Thanks a lot for watching everybody. It's time for me to head south. on the next video.